Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the music room. So this is where uh, we kind of record the band and all the rest of it. Uh, yes, it is in my house. Um, and do I get told off for noise? Yes. Uh, but anyway, why we are here is this is the video for my entrance for the £100 watch challenge. So Troy has put this uh, competition together, friendly competition, friendly competition, uh, and there's uh, 10 other uh, YouTube channels uh, that are invo involved in this. And the idea is to see who can get the best watch for £100 or less, or whatever your equivalent exchange rate is in whatever country that particular creator comes from. Anyway, I have mine. I have it here in this box. So there we go. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to review it. Um, it's not going to be a full review. It will be my usual thing. Um, I will reveal the watch in a, a short video run uh, and some close-ups as well uh, so you can have a look at it and then we'll get it under the camera I'll tell you about the watch and why I think it's probably the best value watch that you can get for under a hundred quid um, so yes sit back and enjoy the video and uh, good luck to everybody else you're gonna need it because I know what's in that box see you on the other side of the camera So here we go. I've taken the sleeve off. It's just easier. Uh, so it comes in this uh, in this very nice box, um, which is padded, uh, red stitching as a contrast, Aragon embossed into the top there. Very nice. There's your watch in there. We'll get to that in a minute. I mean, look at this. Proper proper hinges with. Look how nice is that. And then Aragon and Silver in the top, this is all padded as well. So yeah, very nice presentation. And we'll take that out of the box. Spare links are underneath and all the plastic that it came on. This was bought, uh, used. I did get it on eBay. The uh, previous owner uh, wore it a few times, uh, decided that uh, he wanted to wear a smartwatch. That was his story anyway. So uh, yeah, he put it on eBay and here it is. And I paid 85 GBB for it. And I will leave a uh, copy of the eBay receipt thingy so that you can see. Um, I do indeed speak the truth, but here is the watch. And I think for £85, it really doesn't get much better than that. Uh, so the watch itself is all 316L stainless steel, uh, all brushed, apart from a little bit of polishing on the top edge of the, uh, the bezel, which is stainless steel on the outside. Ceramic bezel insert, which is loomed, as you would have seen at the beginning. Uh, applied indices, uh, uh, all kind of... A mixture of battens and circles apart from that 112. Uh, the Aragon logo is actually applied. Um, you, you can't really tell until you get it up really, really close. But we will move in on the dial. We'll have a bit of a closer look at that. And hopefully you can see that. The uh, uh, sapphire crystal, which is covering that dial, and which has got that really, really vivid green sunburst effect on there, which I think is really cool. And uh, yeah, the hands are loomed, the indices are loomed. You got the day and the date at the three o'clock position. This is running the Seiko NH36 movement, 21,600 vibrations per hour, 41 hour power reserve with hacking and hand winding, um, screw down crown. And I shall run some loom footage again because then you can see that crown that's all lit up, which is really cool. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I know you've seen it at the beginning, but you're seeing it again because it is that good. Uh, so the bezel, uh, we will uh, just zoom out just a little bit, and then I will, you can listen to the bezel. Very positive clicks, 
little bit of a springy return when you let go if you can see that but other than that no back play absolutely no bounce and trying to do this without looking through the camera because that's always a bit wrong uh, that does actually line up uh, dimensions of the watch it is absolutely bang on 42 millimeters at the case including the crown is 44.8 we got a lug to lug of 48.2 but we do have male end links on the uh, center of that bracelet so that does take that out to 55.5 millimeters so that is quite long when you take that bracelet into consideration. Um, uh, thickness is 14.2 millimeters and uh, is uh, a weighing in at uh, bang on 200 grams with all the links in and I've taken two links out to size it for me. This bracelet is uh, really hefty and I quite like it because it's not just, uh, not just straight uh, links. They've got this kind of not quite Breitling esque, where you've got that uh, that angle, um, does make for some interesting uh, link removal. But you know, it was okay. Uh, there's no pin and collar on this; they are just push pins. Uh, we have a signed clasp, uh, 20, 20 mil. Yes, it is twenty mil, and it doesn't taper. And we have the fold over clasp and a milled clasp on the inside. There is your Seiko movement with your nice blue Aragon custom rotor in there and all the information you need to know on the back of the watch screw down case back that is a piece of mineral crystal in there so we do not have a sapphire sandwich uh, but we do have solid end links uh, three levels of micro adjust um, yeah I think for 85 GBP what can you get that's better than that? I wait with bated breath to see what the other guys have done. And uh, yeah, I wish them all luck. Um, yeah, I think this is a cracking watch. And I will do a full review of this. Um, not that there's much else to say about it. It's actually okay. Um, no polishing on the edge. It would have been nice, I guess, to have a, a kind of a chamfered edge on the edge of the case. Um, but that's just like kind of personal preference. I think it's a stunning watch and uh, 85 quid can't go wrong. So yes, that's it. I will uh, just let you know my final, final thoughts, etc. at the back end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and please head over and watch all the other contenders and all their videos. Uh, I said earlier that there's, there's 10 altogether. There's not another 10, it's 10 altogether. So there's nine more to go and have a look at. Uh, head over to the Bald Watch Collector and all the information you need to know about how to vote and all the rest of it is on there. And uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up. That would be excellent. Um, but yes, other than that, thanks for watching. And now my final thoughts. So there we have it. The Aragon Dive Master. 42 um, and I think an absolutely cracking watch for what I paid for it uh, as you would have seen 85 GBP uh, but, but, but no brainer really wasn't it so yeah uh, absolutely cracking watch uh, as I said I will review it but it comes down to the votes now and it's down to you guys so vote for your favorite hopefully I'm up there as well I'll be, or the watch anyway you're not voting for me you're voting for the watch uh, I think the watch is really good. I think it's that good that uh, it um, really, the best way to put it, I will leave it to my alter ego. Those of you that know me know that I play in a rock band and this is what I think it deserves.